Elvira here. We're gonna make some soup so I can have some soup for lunch this week. I hope everybody's gonna enjoy this recipe. We're gonna use some fresh cilantro, golden corn, green beans, some red potatoes, some carrots, homemade broth, and some rice. And our pinto beans. Our pinto beans are cooking right now. I had them soak in, so now I'm cooking them up. And that's what I'm doing there. And we'll be two videos so we can see what the calorie count is. And I thought I'd get you guys uh, get going here. And we'll put these in the bag. Put these bags in the pan. It's gotten cold here again. And we thought we were going to have all this warm weather. And we're getting cold weather here. Some places even got snow again. Luckily through us, we did not. But that doesn't mean it cooked anything, but I don't think so. So, putting this in our pan. And we'll chop up our fresh cilantro. And I also have some fresh garlic. Yeah, I just, I, since it got cold again, I've come up with another recipe that that I really, really like for, for um, what do you call it, for um, vegetable soup and um, stuff. And I thought, oh, I'll get everything together, you know, and that way I'm, the, the beans usually take the longest. Um, that's why I always cook them and stuff. But it works. And we're just gonna chop here. Just throw it in our pan. Yeah, just. There, you can see better. I just like to, so you guys can see how I chop. And. stuff but yeah I just uh it's really our weather has been very weird some days it's warm and one day it hit 82 for this time of the year and it's like ah oh, you know and just didn't work I love this weather I don't really like cold I where I came from it was always cold all the time not anymore And this recipe here is really good. Um, anything, you know, you always have vegetables, it's always good. And again, we're just gonna chop it up and we're putting it in our pan. And I'll show you here in a minute what the pan looks like. I just like fresh vegetables. Um, and I have a lot, like this week, when I have a lot of work to do, um, usually the day after, the week after taxes, I usually take off, but I also have ketchup to do on my cases and stuff like that. Um, but I love cooking, and I love cooking. Now I'm so spoiled with cooking that I really don't like to even go out to eat anymore. Because it's like, oh, by the time I get done and thinking about what I'm going to do, it's like, yeah, I could just cook. Give you guys a healthy recipe. And, you know, you, I go to the stores and I see so many people overweight and I'm thinking to myself, you know, people, it's about eating healthy. And I know because I have a metabolism problem and I have to eat a certain way. And it's like, oh, okay. russet potatoes but I also like the red potatoes and the only reason I got the red potatoes is because they just happen to be on sale and it's like oh I haven't used these in my soups and I love the taste of the red potatoes and 
and then we'll add our seasonings, you know, and stuff. And um, and I think this recipe here people will like more because it's all fresh vegetables. Except for the two frozen bags, and I just love fresh vegetables. And and stuff. I can't wait to the farmer's market. Uh, to they open and start getting their freshness in because I love going to the farmer's market and getting all fresh vegetables and everything and um, you know, and, and a lot of times it's really just taking a recipe and, you know, making it healthy. Just thinking to yourself, okay, how can I make this recipe better and, you know, make it better and make it taste better. And that's exactly what I do. And then I count calories and I make it more healthy. And, and I, you, I have awesome trainers, you know, my trainers, Dan and Andrew and everything and Josh over at Powertrain, they're awesome. I wouldn't have gotten as far as I did if it wouldn't have been for Dan. He's my main trainer. And then Andrew's also my main trainer. Without those two, I could not have gotten as far as I did. And I know that. Because um, they're just awesome. They, they push you. They make you excel and do whatever. You know? I mean, and it's great. I look forward to I increase my training now to four days a week. And I do two boot camps. But... Once summer comes and I have my place open up on the water, I'll do boot camp on a during the week and then and stuff unless I come back on the weekends. And sometimes I do because when it rains or if they got high winds or like hurricane weather, then I come back. So. Really, you know, it's just just thinking to yourself, well, how can I eat healthy? What can I do to make it better? You know, and in the winter time, I make a lot of apple breads, a lot of uh, apple breads, and uh, banana breads. And believe it or not, I got that down pretty good too. In the winter time, you'll see. And we're gonna add our broth. And here's what it looks like. Hands. See? Yeah. And we're gonna fill up our container. with water. I always like to get the juices out of the water. And into the water. And, and I do, I just add water. I'm, I, and then I put my own seasonings in. I don't like to use, uh, you know, all that sodium I get. I don't use a lot of sodium. I like to make all my own broths because I feel that it's more healthier, also less sodium. And, uh, stuff. How pretty does that look? And then we just mix it up. And then we're going to add, let's see here, we're going to add some rice, I wanted to put some rice in it, so we're going to add a cup, which would be 340, and I do measure it, I do measure the rice. And the mess goes away. <laughs> Add a cup of rice into that. Stir that up. Bring it over to the stove 
just so we can get her. We're gonna add some pepper. I would say start with two tablespoons, but you're gonna have to season the taste because that's what I do. I'll put in the recipe, start with two, season salt, pepper. Um, 